am Trisha Besson. I'm a single mother of six children and my background would be 40 years of hairdressing but I came to a stage of I knew that there was something else within me to do. So I had a word view of living in fear and everyone around me as well. So as I was going on to school then I um, was bullied about my body image from so-called friends which led me to my first stage of self-sabotage of uh, an eating disorder. And then at the age of 16, I found alcohol to numb my pain and suffering. And that led me to domestic, two domestic abusive marriages, then to alcohol-related um, relationships, then to total isolation. So I either had to, two decisions to keep going through this mad storm or to go through the storm the wind, the hail, the rain, the fog and the mist, and come to a beautiful, tranquil sea. So when I founded the Woman of Substance, even that name, um, the substance was my alcohol. So, but at the other side, I looked up to see what a Woman of Substance was. So a Woman of Substance is powerful, influential. She makes her own decisions. She knows exactly who she is and she holds herself with grace in class. So for me now to go out and help other women from a toxic world, toxic life, addiction, trauma, whatever it may be, to find who they really are. Because we get lost in ourselves. We don't, oh, I, I don't know who I was anymore. So I had to find who Trisha was again. So that name for me just stood out because of the two different um, identities of the name. And even when I say the name, everybody was so impactful about it and really thought it was a great name for it. So um, that's where I, how it started off. So what I do is I support and empower women that have been impacted, living or still experiencing addiction, trauma or domestic abuse. And we relive but we don't, you know, we review but we don't relive the movie of the past. So this gives and gains them an understanding of empathy and compassion for themselves to start to make that change. My business has changed me in so many ways. It has had high and lows because I've never done business before. I've never, I haven't a clue of where I needed to go with all this. But, but even when I was doing the studies, I went into mastermind groups. Um, I started, started following people that I wanted to become. You know, do you have that mirror reflection? You no, know, mirror people that have, have been up here and have that guidance of um, doing the same, but only in your, your own unique way. You no, know, finding yourself and do it that way. So it was so as well. I've been, I got, I have mentors over the past three years as well, and I'm still in a mentorship at the moment. So that's really helped me to support me, um, especially on the business end of part, because um, and in the the new uh, mentorship I'm in at the minute, we we're chatting about Jim Rowan. He's a great motivational speaker, um, but he had always had the ideas, but he didn't like the background stuff. And I always say I'm a woman, Jim Rowan, because I have all the ideas, but I hate doing the background stuff. I find it so difficult, but I find it hard being a sole trader. First of all, um, doing everything on your own. Although, you no, know, you have your mentorship, and I've reached out to um, different supports, you no, know, for um, enterprise and women's business Northern Ireland, and I do a lot of networking, women's networking, um, and I'm just trying to find myself. But because uh, I've only launched there in September, so and then um, I found to sometimes when I was going here, 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 and here, I was paddling like a duck and overwhelming myself. So this mentorship I'm on now, um, getting mentored, has been the, probably one of the best mentorships I've been in because I was told to be patiently persistent. So that has really grounded me and allowing whatever's to flow, flow. I just put on the work on a daily basis and let things flow. And it has worked because when I've been so overwhelmed and I have sleepless nights and things like that and not eating, not sleeping, um, doing my head in, so to speak, and even question myself, Trisha, 
what the hell are you doing? You know, and a lot of people would say to you, you know, um, and it, when I was started doing this, you no, know, because I'm not afraid to say I'm 61. Um, people say, what are you doing at this age? You no, know, what? Why are you even starting this? Well, way I look at it, I feel 20 years ago when I was 40, whatever, I was in a great place. I'm in the best place I ever was in my life today, and continue on this personal journey and growth. So, because when you find your purpose in life, there, there's no stopping you. Because there's still, even last week, there are days going, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm tired and exhausted. But it's because that passion of fire in my belly is there. I will never give up. You know, and to me, it's a lifelong long journey also. So, I have my meetings, I have my diary, um, I, I, connections, I love to connect all the time. Um, even though the connections you make, sometimes you get no's. Um, but if I get a no, my head tells me there's something better ahead. Instead of annoying myself, the old me would have been down in the dumps, beating myself up, criticizing myself. But learning my own personal journey, it's okay to have a no. Because the more no's I get, they say, when you get the yes, it's going to be a big yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> So my, my, my days are just, but my, my head never stops, it never stops because this is still baby, like a baby start st stage, um, there's still a lot of new stuff going on. I have my vision for over here, but I have to do these paths here first to get where I'm at, but I hold that vision all the time in my head. So um, I, I just never stop, I never stop learning. That's the thing. Once I started, because last year too, I done a uh, six month uh, self development uh, course as well, which has made me feel ten times better in myself. Has given me a more understand of myself and other people. And I think that was one of the best things about other people. Um, who are we to judge anybody? Because we don't know what's going on with anybody, and people are at where they're at in life. You know, so that's given me. Um, more empathy and compassion for people and trying not to judge I'm only human at the same time. <laughs> I'm not perfect. And I, I always tell the women too in the course that nobody's perfect, but we're all imperfectly beautiful. And this I tell them every week I go in there that we're all imperfectly beautiful. Challenge, the biggest challenge for me has been solo. Really. Solo um, fear. That's been a big challenge because, and another challenge too, which is a good challenge, but it's getting out of your comfort zone. Wow, no, that is a big major. See, getting out of that comfort zone and having all them fears and anxieties and just like too, when you're, you're going through your, well, for me, was when I go through my addiction and you no, know, having going to go through that depression. Same thing in business, you're going to go through so many uncomfortable zones to be comfortable and it's, it gets easier as I go along, but by God, at the start, I used to, because even going on social media, even speaking, uh, fear of public speaking was a big thing for me, um, because I had no voice for 40 years, I was kept silent all the time. So, as I said last year, because I did a tech talk, TED talk a year and a half ago, um, I haven't shut up since. <laughs> and I don't intend to stop. Um, and that's what I want all uh, other women to do too. They have a voice. So we have opinions, we know that not everybody's going to see each other the same way and that's okay. It's how to understand people and yourself first and foremost. So that's, my challenges have been hard, but I've, I've had to go through these challenges to get to where I need to be. And there's going to be loads of other obstacles and challenges come away. That's life, but it's how I manage them. Um, it's how I manage my own mental health, it's how I manage my own uh, social life, um, personal life, career life, you know, that's, that's how I manage when I go through these challenges. This was a big thing for me. Um, and it's just learning the whole time, learning is and reading. I was never a book person, but my, you can see yourself now. And that's only three years of books there. I haven't read them all, by the way, but um, I just love getting more information and I love the power of the mind how we people think and we feel in our behaviours, it's just fascinating for me.
Well, my best quality is my brother told me last night, uh, empathy. I have so much empathy. I'm a great listener and place no judgment on anybody. I try not to place any judgment because I'm only human the same thing. But that would be three in the core. Um, a very good listener. Um, have compassion, you know, because we, nobody knows where a, another human being's at in life. Um, should it be good or bad? We don't know. My worst quality, I <laughs> fairly tell you, technology. I fucking hate it. Because <laughs> I panic. I've never been a technologist. My, my daughter, one of my daughters, she steps and she gets angry with me. But I don't know. If, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. But I have got better, you know. Um, but I just want to be an our gym own. <laughs> when the money starts flowing in better, I will get somebody to do the work that I don't want to do. And that's fine. But um, do I want to learn the, the harder stuff? No. And that's fine too. I have made so many sacrifices and the sacrifices I made was this past three years I have poured every penny into self-development, mentorship, masterminds, anything that was going to feed me to enhance my life I put it in. What had I to sacrifice? Going out, stop buying clothes, um, even being mindful of my shopping, no grocery shopping, uh, even heating in the house. I sacrificed everything. Am I any worse off? No. I'm far 20 times better off than what I did, what I would have done three years ago. So, and it's great to finish off on this too, because in my head, when I do speak to um, other women or, or men, because I would like to venture out too, because men suffer as much as we suffer. So, and we're all human beings and we're all individuals. So, people invest in their houses and they do them up. They invest in the cars and maintain them. Why not invest in you?